how to. So this episode is all about how to tell if your car has a non-limited slip differential and how to check your gear ratios if you do. So I hope you enjoy the video guys and I will see you in a minute. When jacking up the car, the first thing to do is always to chock your wheels. Now that we know the car's not going anywhere, now we can jack up the car. In order to check your diff ratios, you're gonna to need to jack up the back of the car. Now the rear of the car is securely in the air, take off your parking brake and put your car in neutral. This is so the wheels can spin freely. The gist is that with a limited slip differential, both wheels turn exactly the same. So with this, the way you tell is if you turn this wheel, that wheel should turn if it was a slip limit, limited slip differential. But with mine, as you can see, it's not going anywhere, which means we have a non-limited slip differential in the diff. And just of a, of a note, obviously that's forwards. If you go reverse, the other wheel will turn, whether it's non-limited slip or not. So don't get your hopes up, kids. Add tape to your wheel and your wheel arch. This is to gauge exactly how many turns you've done to the wheel when calculating your diff ratio. If you have a non-limited slip diff, then lower one side of the car so you can only spin one wheel at a time. This portion is a two-man job. So to actually calculate it, you need to turn the wheel 10 times in the direction of driving and then count the drive shaft turns to compare the ratio. Marking the drive shaft and the diff does make this easier to count. As you can tell, this is a high budget show. Okay, so we had 13.5 turns. So because it's a non-limited slip diff, it had, you have to times that by two, which would give you 27 turns. And because we times it 10 times, uh, you divide that by 10, which would give you 2.7. Now, I believe for Mopars, the closest one, because obviously that's a rough, I think the closest you can get to that is 2.71. So that means that my car has highway gears and a non-limited slip diff. So now that we know our diff ratio, it's time to take the tape off and lower the car and we're all good. concludes this episode of a how to do your gear ratios so uh, i hope you learned something about your car today please like subscribe and share and i will see you in the next episode